what's going on guys i'm so so sorry i know it's taking forever doing any tutorials honestly i've been like crazy crazy busy but i mean i'm just glad to be back and uh, today's tutorial as you can see i uh, will be doing this really cool uh animation so i'm actually be thinking that i want to start doing some sort of uh just picking up a logo and just animating them so any random logo that i find online i'm just adding it to sort of like an archive where i just pick one that you know we can just get to really quick so today's one is the google uh, i'm just gonna be breaking it down how i was able to uh, animate this okay let's jump into after effects and get started so you can see we're in after effects now um i'm just gonna show you guys real quick so what i did is the actual logo on this one let me see sorry this is some of the logos that i have okay let me i need to show you guys the actual logo okay so this is the actual logo right here so what i did is i went into photoshop uh where do i have them where do i have them uh, videos by me animations logo animation asset so google so what you want to do is go on to photoshop and um I'm gonna show you real quick what I did in Photoshop. So pretty much what I did in Photoshop is just to have each of the letters kind of um, have a layer of themselves. So G is gonna be a layer of itself, O, O, G, L, E. So they will have individual layers as you can see right here. So if I click on, I've separated them so you can see. And the easy way to separate them is, all you just have to do is, let's say this is your main layer you see how you have all of them so you just select use either your L uh, that's shortcut for the lasso tool and you just draw around it and you can do command or control X to cut it then you use command shift V don't use Control V or Command V because that it will just duplicate it on anywhere. But this using Shift V, it will drop it exactly where you took it out from. So you just repeat the steps. Um, so once you have that, as you can see for me, I already have individual letters like that. So once you have that, save it as a PSD file. Then inside of After Effects, all you want to do is just double click to import and you'll see i've saved mine as google.psd so this is it right here so under here make sure to import as don't use footage always use uh composition retain layers that size and sizes so what that would do is it would import that layer you will report it as a composition so um your layers are like maintaining the actual proportions that they were supposed to be so if i click ok you will get this uh menu right here so what you want to do is since you already have composition um edit table uh layer styles so just click ok to that i'm not gonna do ok just because i already have it so now so what happened now is that this this is my layer let's say this is what I have before before I started doing all my animations so for G let us open up G I'll do you so you is for you to show up all your um, all your keyframes so what I did basically is okay I'm just gonna isolate so I'm isolating only G right now so you guys can see let me enlarge it so what I did is I um, keyframe the position the scale and rotation so for the position i just started from right here down and i you know positioned it upwards so then right in the middle right here so i added i added uh what's it called i added a scale 
uh, I added a scale. So the scale is going from zero, as you can see, up to um, hundred here. That's the final point. But right in the middle, I made it bigger just to give it that character. So like it goes up like boop, so it becomes bigger. And by the time it's landing, it rests back in the actual position where it's supposed to. Um, so that's pretty much what I did. So it goes up, you know, goes bigger and it comes down. You know, it just gives it that really cool, like, you know, and one thing you want to always do is just make sure you have all your keyframes selected. You right click and you do keyframe assistant and make sure you do your easy in and easy out so that your animation will like flow. Okay, so that's that with G. Now let us go to let's go to O. So O is pretty simple. What I just did is I just um let me do the U. So I just pretty much just drag it backwards position and you know I animated it to come rest in the actual you know where it, it used to be and i did a rotation so you can have that you know circular motion kind of like a uh like a tire so that's what i did and for the other o i just did in opposite direction so you can see that's i did pretty much same thing but just going in opposite direction okay so let's go back to the next g um so this one, what I did is almost the same thing as the first one. I did position um, from the ground to up. So in the middle, it goes bigger, you know, like, whoop. so then when it comes down, it becomes um, smaller, you know, back to where it's supposed to be. And I animated the, um, the rotation a little bit. So as you can see, it's not just going straight, like there's kind of an angle to it. So you get that and it comes back down. Cool. Um, the next one is L. So with L, uh, what I did to just give it like a little bit of more bouncy, more like cartoony vibe to it. So I'll show you real quick. So I did position obviously so where i did some really cool stuff is the scale so with your scaling i want you to know that you can you can also scale on the horizontal and vertical so what i did is i on this check here you can click it so that you can control individual scale so what i did is i controlled the different scale as you can see they are not using the same proportions now so i animated just only on the vertical like that it goes down and at the same time the position is you know acting and i you know walked on the rotation to just give it a little bit of uh rotation to it um yeah that's pretty much it with that and e it was pretty simple i just uh put the position sorry i just put the position all the way you know here to the right here and I animated it to come sit down right here and I also made it bigger as well um, yeah I also made it bigger as well then it comes smaller I actually made a mistake here don't forget like I said always do your easy ease and now I didn't do that so uh, my apologies on that so what I also do is so that just to get that nice when it's settled um i i light my last keyframes because i want them to like mm, you know so it's not sharp so then you click on your graph as you can see i can scale in then i drag it right here I drag out just a little pinch so now you see that the you you see that so there's more of like a ease to it so that's uh pretty much it guys and uh, lastly I just kind of just um, move them around so that they are not coming in all at the same time so yeah um, sorry I need to so that's pretty much it so then what I did is then I created a new composition where I have the white background pretty much all I did in this cool right so yeah, um, I think I should start doing something like this. Let me know if you're enjoying this logo animation type thing. 
um if you're not i'm sure you will but you know you can always put down below whatever suggestion you have you can always hit me up on ig you know i'll always respond and yeah i look forward to our next um video and i'm sorry again for all the delays um you know let me not talk too much i'll catch you guys in the next video ciao